Hey guys, Pokebeat here, back with another Pokemon Go video. And today we are going to be soloing an Alakazam in windy weather using only the Pokemon accessible to you at level 30. Now, I tried this once before and I used a Dragonite because I thought that it would be a good idea since the Dragonite's going to be boosted because of the windy weather. Um, we didn't get it. We got really close, but we didn't get it. And I feel like we didn't get it because we died too quickly. So this time around, I am going to go with an extra Tyranitar in there as opposed to that Dragonite. And hopefully we'll get it on the second run. And now guys, uh, I don't know if you saw in the beginning, this raid only has a minute and a half left on it. So this is going to be it. This is going to be our only shot. Um, and I'm going to stick with the level 30s instead of going ahead and using my, my big guns because, you know, I want to show you guys that you can do it once you hit level 30. You know, I want to do this for you guys. So, um... As you guys can see, these are the Pokemon I'll be using. I'm going to have a 31 Gengar, a level 31 Gengar. It's going to have Hex and Shadow Ball as its moveset. I've got a 30 Tyranitar, another 30 Tyranitar, two 32 Tyranitars, and a 27 Tyranitar. All of which have Bite as a fast move, and all of which have Crunch as a charge move, with the exception of the level 27 Tyranitar that we threw in there instead of that Dragonite. That one still has Stone Edge. I'm out of charge TM, guys, so hopefully we can get it with the Stone Edge. Um, I do know the moveset on this one is Shadow Ball. So definitely going to try to dodge with the Gengar in the front. Um, not so much the Tyranitars. They're just going to be kind of, you know, hulks and eat every Shadow Ball and still do a bunch of damage. So hopefully we'll get this one. I think we got it. Um, and as you guys can see, like, you know, the IVs on my Pokemon... Yeah, all those Tyranitars are really good, but look at the Gengar I'm using. It's a 15-15-6, guys. It's not a great IV Pokemon. It's not terrible, but, you know, it's got a 6 of its health stat out of 15. So, you can definitely do it without super, super high IV Pokemon. As long as they have good attack stats and, you know, you're super effective and you got the right level, that's really all you need. So, let's go ahead and start with this Gengar. Now, with my Gengar, I am going to try to dodge... The Shadow Ball that the Alakazam is going to launch at me. Otherwise, my Gengar is going to get murked and just kind of go down instantly. Yeah, there we go. See, like, that's that's with a dodge right there, guys. Like, it still did a bunch of damage even though I dodged it. Um, so that would have one-shotted us if we didn't. But all right, we got three Shadow Balls off. It's looking pretty good. Pretty good start to this here. Got Tyranitar number one in. And just so you guys know, you know, again, I know a lot of you guys probably don't have a lot of access to Tyranitars, um, at least some of you guys don't, you guys, you gotta find a good raid group, you know, I'm blessed to have an amazing raid group with the people that I raid with, and my raid community, love all you guys, you guys are the best, um, so I'm really, really fortunate to have that, but for those of you out there that might not have a good raid community, you know, try to find a buddy, try to find some friends, because Tyranitars are going to be a really good Pokemon, and they're going to be useful in a lot of different scenarios. And for soloing Alakazam, as you guys can see, I've, I've got five of them in here with me. Um, so we'll, we'll see how we do it. But again, all of these Pokemon you guys can have at level 30. You know, none of my Pokemon here are higher than level 32. All right, that hurts. All right, well, we're, we're looking like we're on pace though, guys. We're at the yellow before 90 seconds, so we're looking pretty good here. I think we're going to get this one. That one Stone Edge Tyranitar that's not, you know, powered up to level 30 yet might hold us back a little bit. But I think we'll be okay. It's looking like we're going to get this guy. So, we'll see. Hopefully we do. But, yeah, guys. Just, you know, um, Discord is a really good app. I don't know if you guys have access to Discord. And if you guys have a good raid community. But, you know, Discord is definitely a good app. For all you uh, Pogo players out there that are looking to join up with a raid group. Um, otherwise, you guys, you know, look for your local Facebook page. Your local Facebook page will probably have something. Otherwise, you know, just kind of squat up with some of your friends and, you know, go ahead and do some of these things. Like, uh, pretty soon here I will have a video coming out about two manning Tyranitar. And how you can definitely get that done, especially in cloudy weather. If you guys are a little bit of a lower level, you can still do it in the cloudy weather. So I'm going to have a video and a tutorial about that coming out pretty soon. I just got to gotta make some time when uh, me and my buddy Joel are both available. And it's, it's coming here. It's pretty close, guys. If, if uh, the Shadow Ball kills us. All right, that Shadow Ball didn't kill us, guys. 
it's going to be really, really close because this is my last Tyranitar. I think we got it. Yes, all right, there we go. Seven seconds left, guys. So seven seconds left on the clock there with that Alakazam. You know, using five Tyranitars and a Gengar up front. Three berries, tw 20 Super Potions. Two can wow. Wow, guys, 20 Super Potions. Some great raid rewards for soloing a boosted Alakazam. Um, that's okay, though. You know, we'll get we'll get some better stuff. Um, let's see. We got a 2025 here. That's not a terrible one. We'll go ahead and put this guy down real quickly. Um, but yeah, guys, definitely, you know, try your best to get some good Tyranitars and try your best to, you know, really get a good raid group and, like, you know, just make some friends out there. Or, like I said, find your local raid group. I'm sure that wherever you guys live, there's going to be a couple of other players that want to get out there and grind with you guys. And I'm sure that there's going to be a way for you to communicate and talk to one another. So... Um, definitely just go ahead and get out there and, you know, hopefully you guys can grab some good Tyranitars and once you grab some good Tyranitars and power them up a little bit, oh, wet screen. Yeah, guys, it was raining today. We got some windy weather now, but it was raining earlier and my phone's a little wet, so sorry about that miss, but hopefully we put this guy down. There we go. We got him down. He's down. But, uh, yeah, guys, so that, that's going to be it for today's video. Just like a little tutorial on how to do Alakazam and what you need and, you know, the importance of having a good raid community and, you know, finding some good people to go out there and raid with. So, but that, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for me today. Um, and guys, if you are part of the Matthews Indian Trail Discord channel, shout out to you guys. You guys make this game much more fun than it would have been.